Good stuff, Sean. Thanks very much. Of course, unemployment figures out at seven as well, which Sean will be across too. Busy morning for Sean. Thank you very much for that. 23 minutes past six. Good morning. You're watching Breakfast from the BBC this morning. Now, for some children, lockdown has meant quality time with family and a welcome break for some from school. There is a warning, though. The pandemic has severely affected some young people's mental health. There's new research from the University of Oxford which says primary school children have been the most impacted. It comes as the charity Childline says the number of children visiting their website has quadrupled. Hannah Gray has this report. I'm scared about the coronavirus. I get really afraid that my family and I might get it, as a lot of people have died from it. It's really scary because everyone is talking about it and people are sharing stories every day on social media. I don't know how to cope. I'm really scared of my dad, especially when he's been drinking. Sometimes he gets really angry and throws things at my mum. It's been getting worse since the coronavirus started. I have no idea what to do. I can't escape because of the lockdown. These are examples of the kind of calls Helen has been hearing since March. She works for Childline and she's really concerned about children's well-being. I think children are the hidden victims of this coronavirus and um, for, for many children home isn't a safe place um, and you know we haven't got community eyes and ears, schools, health services looking out for children so that is, that is a real worry. People are dying, people are getting ill and you can't see your friends, your relatives. Sarah is 11 years old. During lockdown, she's done a survey asking 162 children in South Yorkshire how they've been coping. Lots of people were actually worried, scared and um, concerned about coronavirus. That was 82%. It was a very big thing to go through as a child. And, yeah, it affected me quite a lot because I was worried what it could do to my family. Her dad is a doctor at the local hospital and he inspired her to talk to others about their feelings. It's very important that we as children get our voices heard so that we feel calm and we know that it's safe. Because when you're very young, you can get very worried about things that completely change your life. A new survey from the University of Oxford asked 10,000 families across England to report on their child's mental health. Secondary school aged children say they're less stressed and behave better out of school, but primary school aged children seem to be finding it more difficult. Parents are reporting that over the course of lockdown, children's emotional um, difficulties, so being clingy or worried or unhappy, and behaviour problems, so having tantrums, getting into arguments, or maybe not doing what their parents are asking them to over that month, those things have actually got worse. Even before the pandemic, the Children's Commissioner said the current system is far away from meeting the needs of all the children who have mental health conditions. Psychologists now suspect there'll be an even greater number of children who'll need support after being isolated for so long. It's our job as, as professionals, as government, as schools to make sure that there is enough support available. You know, these, these effects don't have to be lifelong and it's important that we all take account of what children and young people are telling us, believe them and give them the right support to emerge from this intact and able to go on and enjoy their childhood and adult lives. In the meantime, children like Sarah try to find their own ways of coping as they watch the adults around them deal with the biggest change to our world in a generation. Hannah Gray, BBC News.